Hello, this is Netflix Daily, and on the Netflix Daily show we like to talk about tech news, because tech news is pretty cool and interesting, maybe you'll learn something today from tech news on Netflix Daily, oh. Sales updates for the new XPS 15 9560 laptop have been announced on the company's website. Although apparently it was by accident because when you go to the page for the XPS 15, the spec details have been taken off. But of course you can count on the interwebs to see what you may have missed. The laptop will have a 15.6 inch Ultra HD 4K screen, an Intel Kaby Lake processor up to and including the i7-770HQ, and discrete graphics through the NVIDIA GTX 1050. Now it's said that the inclusion of the GTX 1050 is likely why Dell was trying to cover up their mistake. GTX 1050 notebooks are expected to be shown at CES 2017 at the beginning of January. So perhaps Dell gave us a little teaser of their newest XPS 15, but we'll most likely know for sure in a few weeks, I guess. Sling TV is a service that allows you to watch live TV over the internet. PlayStation View and DirecTV also have their own version of this service, but now Sling TV has launched its own Air TV player, which actually merges the Sling TV service as well as Netflix with over the air live programming through the help of an antenna. So you'll be able to stream content and watch live TV channels like ABC and NBC over the same interface. The website Zat's Not Funny also found FCC docs for the player, indicating it was built by a company called Technicolor. Digging a little further, they saw that in Geekbench, there's a Technicolor Air TV player listing that shows the device running Android 6.0. The remote for the player includes a Google button, so you'll likely have access to the Google Play Store as well. This sounds interesting for the people that are still not quite ready to give up cable TV, but apparently there are more details about this at CES as well this year, so or next year, beginning of 2017. Uh, so we'll uh, see what the pricing is like. Then, it's time for shorter news stories that more quickly than the others. Super Mario Run has beat up Pokemon Go as the fastest growing mobile app ever in the four days following its release with 40 million downloads. And it's not even available on Android yet. Then shortly after playing for a few minutes, people realize that you have to pay for more levels. Mario, you cheap bastard. AMD has released new advertisements for the AMD Ryzen as well as broken down the key segments of its New Horizon presentation into short videos for your convenience. So now if you're a video editor for a tech news YouTube channel, you don't have to scrub through an hour long video to find the important parts. AMD also has their first update available for the Crimson Relive driver that released a few weeks ago. On the new H3H3 podcast, which I'm pretty excited about, Justin Roiland, the co-creator of Rick and Morty and the awesome VR demo Accounting, which I played and it's really funny and cool also, is working on his first fully funded game with his VR studio, Squanch Tendo. It's been a while since new iMacs have come out, so Tim Cook wants people to rest assured knowing that Apple has some great desktops in their roadmap. Did you know, he asked, that desktops can pack a lot more performance than notebooks? If you didn't, well, now you know. And that's why we're taking all the time to study just why that is. Snapchat is banned in China, but they're still hiring people to work on the spectacles. What? And in France, the French Postal Service is now using drones to deliver mail once a week on a prescribed nine mile route to test the tech and regulations. Drone mail delivery? See what we're losing? Now you can't say hi to your friendly mailman. I've got a solution. Oh, madame, comment ça va? Ça va bien. Et toi? Bien. Maintenant? Très bien. Très bien. Sources for all of today's news stories can be found in the NCIX forum post, linked in the description. Camarero desencamaranamelo. Ha 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 ha. Hey guys, a little something about Windows 10 Pro. If you're a business person and like talking about business, thinking about business, looking professional, acting professional, pretending to be professional, imagining scenarios in which you are in a business meeting and you're talking to people and they're listening to the words that you're saying and taking them seriously by like nodding their heads and giving you words of affirmation, sending emails, making schedules and calendars, keeping your brain organized and your computer also, talking to your mother at lunchtime to let you know that you love her while eating a peanut butter and jelly sandwich or a slice of pepperoni and ham pizza, hold the 
the mushrooms, but add the black olives and onions, or maybe, maybe you can replace the black olives with green peppers. Um, like you need vegetables, you can't just have all meat, so there's like pepperoni and ham and there's different options. But anyways, then Windows 10 Pro is perfect for you. Yeah, there are a bunch of business apps like Windows Store for business and assigned access, but there's also a number of security features like signing in with your face on Windows Hello. Also, Windows 10 Pro comes installed with the Surface Pro 4, but you can also download it on your tablet or PC and all the other ones that are like combined things as well. So check the links down below for that. Uh, for more info, that is. Yeah. Alright, that's it for NetLink Daily. Thank you so much for watching. Click over here for previous videos and check us out on Twitter over here. But as always, like the video if you liked it, comment below for fans with benefits, and subscribe for more videos like this one from NCIX. Also, we have a new vlog on NCIX TV, finally. Uh, there's a bit of a uh, behind the scenes of our new sets and a bunch of other stuff as well, so check it out.